Right, before we crack on, disclaimer. This video you're about to watch is in no shape or form any sort of bullying, right? It is aimed at a particular video on YouTube. Uh, you'll get it because I'm going to use the exact title on this that there is on that video. But listen, the world has to be put straight. And there's not a spaghetti bolognese that's going to look like the other one that I'm talking about ever. This shouldn't be. It should be sealed in concrete and dropped in the North fucking sea. So anyway, this is my attempt at a different spaghetti bolognese. Not naming no names, but I think you get the gist already. Brothers and sisters, I can't stress this enough, right? This is the first thing we're going to do. And that is, you've got to boil your pasta. As you can see there, I've got six patties. Now, I'm going to make three patties, but my intention is, if you can see the spaghetti there, the spaghetti is going to go inside the, the, the patty. Now, I've let that cool down so I can handle it. But this is where, normally, the wheels fall off. Because I've got that touch of a baby elephant. <laughs> right? See, I can handle it. I can handle the spaghetti. Right, come on. This, I have not thought about this, have I? Uh, yeah. uh, Right, maybe I've uh, uh, maybe I've shot my mouth off a bit too soon here. You, you can see you can see what I'm aiming for though, can't you? Right, y you can see what I'm aiming for. So I'm going to play around with these, and I'll be back in a minute. As you can see, I've managed it. Now the chances are they are going to open up a little bit uh, in the oven because I am going to cook these in the oven like the original video I am talking about. Uh, but I have boiled the spaghetti, kind of al dente, uh, I'm not sure, but it's definitely not going to be crunchy. Right, so these are going in the oven on 180 degrees, and I'm going to cook them initially for about 30 minutes and have a good look at them. Look at them now though. Whoa. While we're waiting for them burgers to do the thing in the oven, we're going to start off with a, you know, this is, listen, this is not Michelin star, right? I'm not, I'm not saying this is. I'm not saying this. Well, it's got to be better than what the other one was, with not it? Got to be, hasn't it? Anyway, chopped red onions. I am cheating with a bolognese sauce. I'm going to use a dull meal. Uh, but, you know, it was a quid. Why not? So I've got my red onions in here now. And I'm just going to let them go a little bit translucent before I add some... Top of the range, 85 pence, chestnut mushrooms. As promised, chestnut mushrooms. And we're going to keep stirring these because we want these to soften and obviously they're going to release some moisture. Uh, and I will add some garlic if I can find it. Lewis tied the kitchen and I can't find bog off. Right, I will be adding garlic as soon as I find it. As promised. I found a new one I didn't come in for ages. I think that's enough garlic for any man. So we're going to get that mixed in. And we're still waiting for these mushrooms to moisturise up. Sweat down a little bit, and then as soon as that's ready, we're ready for our dough meal sauce, brothers and sisters. Right, I've turned my pan down, and we're going in. 
with that on me or sauce. Listen, I got a good whack out of that, did I? <laughs> right, yeah, so we're going to put on like a simmer and we're going to stir that in. And uh, when we're nearly ready for uh, dishing it up and whatever you want to burgers and done, the spaghetti that I had left over as well is also going in that pan. Right, the burgers are nearly done, the sauce is nearly done. Whoop! Uh, butter fingers. The rest of the spaghetti is going in there, and I just want to get that coated, get it all incorporated because that is going to be the topping for our burger. And incidentally, I've just checked our burger, and they are coming apart. But listen, it's not the end of the world. You will see it very, very shortly. I'm going to dish. I'm going to get two out. And I'm going to do uh, Lou and Josh's. And then uh, I'll film mine, right? So when it comes to I know you saw three bottles of burgers. But you will only see one when in the video. But that's all you need to see, don't you? You only need to see one to see how fucking good this is going to be. Well... I forgot to press record. Well, I didn't forget. I pressed it, but I didn't press it hard enough. But there is our burger that was supposed to have the spaghetti inside. But as you can see, then it has come apart. Uh, I knew that was going to happen because, uh, you know, shit happens, doesn't it? And on top of that, we're going to have some oak smoked cheddar. And also, we're not finished there. I won't be finished for a long time because the washing up is immense. <laughs> uh, that spaghetti bolognese mix, I did with the onions, the mushrooms and that. There's some of that going on top of that as well. Just like that. Just like that. The lid is going on. And there's no way I'm going to fucking eat that. Look at it. That is a different... Oh, you see that? It fell there. Look. Bungee roped. A different spaghetti bolognese. Now, I've got to attempt to try and cut this and slide it down the gizzard for your viewing pleasure. Which I will do. I'll attempt... I, I might have to uh, squeegee the kitchen. Oh, it's still going. Look, look. It's falling. Oh, baby! Right, this is my version of an absolute abortion. And I've replaced it with yet another abortion. <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you what, let's slide it down me gizzard. Yeah! You know what? This is impossible to eat. I don't need to it now for four. Look at the state of that. That is a behemoth of a bolognese sandwich. I'm going to attempt to bite some of it and slide it down my gizzard. And then I'll be on my knees like Cinderella scrubbing the freaking floor. Oh. And there it goes. It's already gone. That. Yeah, knife and fork job. But I'll tell you what. Hang on, I've got to put some of this down. Seriously, seriously. That is absolutely falling apart, my hands. Look at the dirt of it. But it's gone. It is absolutely. Mm, mm, mm. I've got a mushroom now. Take a quick shower. 
get the mop and bucket out, sort the kitchen, and I'll be back with you. Mmm. Mm. Can I never pull my phone too deep out there? So, my brothers and sisters, that was my take on our different spaghetti bolognese. We were originally done by a very popular YouTuber. I'm not mentioning names because I don't want to get in trouble. You know what I mean? I am not here to bully anybody because I don't agree with that. Trolls, I don't agree with them. I like fun trolls, not arsehole trolls. Right? I don't agree with them. So, that, you know what I mean? Actually, I could get in trouble if I start naming names. Yeah, they don't name it, no, that, no, don't mind it, no. Yes, the, what, the video I watched deserved to be sealed in concrete. And I said drop to the North Sea. But I think it'd be shot into the fucking orbit and left the galaxy. That's how shit it was. Do you know what? And it's, it is what it is, isn't it? That's my attempt at, my attempt at a different spaghetti bolognese. And obviously, if you follow my channel and you watch my live streams and stuff like that, you know who we are talking about. Listen, I'm going to use the exact same title as this YouTube channel used. So you'll probably see it in suggestions. <laughs> in fact, it'll probably come, it'll come above mine anyway. Do you mean, have a look at that. Tell me what you think. Listen, she's not going to see this, I don't think. She probably, she might do. Oh, she might, she might come at me. <laughs> I've given her away to she, you know. Fucking hell. Right, anyway. My attempt that like, I liked it. If you liked it, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. I've become a family member of Hashtag Team CTB, where I... Fucking love you. Hey, Lou. Yeah? Can I buy you an Iron Maiden t-shirt? You can fuck 